now I want to take a look at the working with websites. When you work with websites, funnels or anything related to sites, a lot of the concepts are the same. But to really begin, you have to be able to differentiate. We know over the last decades, there's been a lot of emphasis on funnels, funnel hacking, reverse funneling. How about this? I need my funnel. What's my funnel, 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 right? But to really get a gist of what the differences are, I'm going to show you now exactly how to navigate to this, these sections. And we're going to begin first in this video with looking at how to navigate and understand and differentiate. The next video we'll do taking a look at funnels and how to differentiate and work with them. And then we'll look at websites. So let's go ahead and take a peek. Now I'm going to go down on the far left. You see the word sites. When you get the sites, you can always go and create a new one, right? But before you do that, you do create a new what? And it says funnel there, but go look at the top menu right beside sites. You'll see funnels. You also have websites stores. If you're a person that uses Shopify stores and things like that, we have our own things like that. I mean, we also have integration for Shopify. Looking at analytics, blogs, I like to blog of the blog, right? That's another thing. WordPress, if you're a WordPress user, uh, the integrate there, but also the client portal. If you have a membership or trading courses that you use to teach others, that's done there. Then you have forms, which we've talked about in another video. Forms and surveys work the same. And once someone submits it, you can always go look under submissions and analyze and that type of thing. Surveys are identical. Chat widgets, when you have a website or a funnel, you can make it so that you can actually put a chat widget on it so that you can talk to the person or your staff, or you can have AI talk to them and engage them about whatever it is that you're offering. Then you can create QR codes, right? And then uh, URL direct redirects so that you can redirect people to one site. You know, once you, you mask it and you make it go somewhere else. So a lot of times you may be, well, they've already bought when they go back to that site or automatically go redirected to the, to the login page or something like that. So that's how you do that. But let's take a look at in the video to come about how to navigate through when we look at these, if we're going to, we can always create new, we can create folders to separate. So it may be like here, there's one for sunroof landscaping. There's a funnel for landscaping. So they keep it separate from other stuff that they do. Right. So if I look at that landscaping, there's only one page in here. Many, well, I shouldn't say there's one page. I'm going to look at it, but usually when we differentiate it between these, you should know, let me go and click first before I go ahead and speak too soon. Funnels are not websites. Funnels have the foundational fundamentals of a website, but it's not that. Funnels are steps. They are multi steps in someone's visiting to come through what's called a pipeline or a sales flow or a flow of sorts, even if it's not for selling, it's for converting maybe to a nonprofit, to a church, doesn't matter what it's for, but they usually happen in steps. So this one wouldn't be a good example, but if I was going to look at the funnel steps, it might be the opt-in, the la uh, landing page, then they get a thank you page, they get a whole bunch of different steps, and then they get upsell and a downsell. That's what happened with funnels. So as I say, funnels, they all, they all can have different steps. So let me see if this course, this is one with multiple steps. They can schedule, then they can go to the next step, which is a thank you for scheduling. And then in Spanish or English, it doesn't matter. You, websites are different. Websites are more like a brochure, opening up a brochure to see what all is available. A, a funnel is something that helps take a person through a process or the steps of a process. It's vital to know. So yes, they can look like websites, but they really are the front door to many steps. So when you click on a funnel and it takes you somewhere else, you're not on a website, you're in a photo, right? And so that's what the kind of thing you want to know. So we're going to take a look at funnels in the next video. So we'll see you in that video.